Every single additional placement point he's been able to garner. Nice shots coming from Tensa, though, as we're jumping back into the action. Ghost heading up against the unnamed. There's two players down now. Bayo has fallen. However, looks like they may be able to get the revive off as a third one goes down for TU. Ghost Gaming impeccable in their precision. Bucky is trying to fight back, but he's getting flanked. Collapsed upon. Goes for the drop shot. Can't quite find it. And he's going to go down. The last one standing for his team. A clean wipe. Spec is kind of in an awkward position. Tense is running for it, though. Has to hit the deck as Trickster is taking shots his way. Bayo may also be able to get revived somehow. Ghost is trying to stabilize here, but it all comes down to Passion Fruit, who could be the fly in the ointment. And just like like that, yes indeed! The third party comes in and Passion Fruit able to take down Ghost Gaming, making it a 4v4 situation with them up against the hit list of all the teams I expected to come out on top here, Zute. It was not these two. Passion Fruit and the hit list, and don't forget about Rage. Rage is actually cooking in the blue, so I think he's just going for that med strat. So we see just a solid 4v4. Passion Fruit with more angles. We see Jay. Jay with a beautiful position across the road, just holding such a wide angle. He's got to be careful, though, not to go down as this next circle does favor slightly towards the hit list's direction. Neither, uh, neither team is in a particularly fantastic position, all things considered. But that nade will certainly help out for Passion Fruit. Able to get multiple members down. You can see Wancho going for it, throwing it in. They're going to try and reposition. The nades keep on going, though. Multiple players are dropping, and the shots from the back? Hang on a second. Was that Rage getting involved? Oh my goodness. That is just the game, though. It's Passion Fruit Esports. Take another victory here. All three of these teams are literally a, a bit more towards the bottom of the list, and I think all three of these teams teams have had the same idea. We are not doing so well overall on our rotations. We're not figuring it out, but we're going to rely on what we know best, just fighting and just gun skill. And so now these teams are all fighting on the northwestern edge of the map. This is nowhere close to center. HQA will get that reset, but Pro Era coming in for the third party just as fast and aggressive as HQA did. Can HQA defend this one though. They actually only have two players. Cross never managed to get revived. It is looking good for Pro Era to pick up the fight here. Yeah, Pro Era making their way through all four players. Wanzi throwing down the Molly to try and buy a little bit of time. May see a desperate leap out of the window. Hear the footsteps. They know where he's at. He's a pretty good position, but all four players charging in at once. Nice Molotov come through, but it's way too late. No gun in hand. The flames will take you down, but not nearly fast enough. As he's trying to make his way into the next circle, as Nova is going to go down, though, with a similar idea. 19 Esports still looking to be in a great position. Ghost does finally go down. His Acer is able to pick up that kill. But it, look at this final circle situation. It's, it's whoever goes first is dying one after another. As Fame Boys has one of these few positions inside the circle, but they're all going down one after the other. 19 Esports is falling as well. And it just comes down to Nova Esports and the unnamed. The unnamed who have been able to work their way through this gully somehow. Facing up against Nova Esports and Skies is going down. It's a 1v4. It's just it's over. <laughs> and it's just, I think, yeah, the last player denied themselves the kill point. I think he just was like, I'm going to take this one out into the blue. And the unnamed, a really quiet, explosive ending, chicken dinner. Snake play, the patience, playing this so quietly, not wanting to give away his position just yet, waiting for them to slip up. Look how grouped up they are. Does he have a nade? Oh, he sees them all lined up. Finally, there goes the shots. Going to give away his position now. Go ahead and pre-fire and getting a whole bunch of taps on the box. Gets the two pieces, Jat G going for the three. Gets them. Jat G just straight clapping the Panthers. I'm sorry, Dave. I know you're conductor of the hype train for these guys, but oh man, did they just get beat up. And memory, I mean, he must have found oh. a whole bunch. So look at that. Nova, regardless of the situation, top three placement points. I mean, these guys have hardly any kills, but they are crushing it. There goes Jason. <laughs> he got second okay. place. <laughs> Nova got second. Are you kidding me? And the hit list are going to take this one. 100% memory, no chance at all. GG, the hit list. Staying true to their name. Holy moly. Great play because I think they realized that, hey, you know what? Mizexis is really split up. So we can just 2v1 this player. And especially with one knocked. And they are going to hold. And Rage is stuck out in the open. This is what happens when you get too split up. Oh, nice shot though. Oh, and the thirst. J7. That was, I don't understand why he would run out in the open knowing that there's a player there. 
Super risky, getting caught slipping Ooh. now. Wow, Ooh. look at the shots. X he has no helmet. Oh! And did that nade drop? It didn't drop. It didn't drop. So kill switch not gonna self-nade himself. This is just turning so hard for Xset. Nico, it's up to him to make a crazy play. Oh, he jumps out, runs out. Super risky. Really beat up. No shots on his name. In a 1v2 situation. The tables have turned. Goes for the shots. Not gonna get it done. So now it's just juicy for Exit. Lazarus always playing so separate. Do a pretty good job at being able to hold each other's angles, though. But don't want to push up too easily and get caught. And that right there, the key word. They, they play separate, but they hold down each other's angles. And that is something that is crucial to their play style. As we see Rokis on the bottom end of this hill, looking to find themselves in a 1v1, while the other three squad mates of Lazarus straight, straight sending it into the face of Syndicate. And there goes Rokis. He ends up getting caught. Sixless is going to try to be able to give that support down. As now Lazarus, I think, had the big advantage. Fate came in a little bit later than I think he would have wanted to. But they're going to push in 3v1. I think that's a pre-nade out from Syndicate. That was really beautiful. Oh, the third party. That's going to shut down that push completely. Lazarus is going to go for the reset. Pull back as we are going to be popping in to this fight. The hit list. Shutting down the Knights as the Knights are just always full sending. But they have just been getting pieced up so hard. Last member up from the Knights. Able to catch Flash. Alucard trying to crawl to him. As Chico gonna get, gonna get the confirm here. Oh, never mind. Does get pieced up. He's gonna have to run all the way back. Yeah, he took away his gun just to get that extra run speed. Here comes Chachi. Gonna finish him off. The hit list. Playing this one really strong in the north. It's a battle for that thousand dollars for the chicken dinner. Who's gonna be able to get it? Watcho! Making it happen with that Tommy gun. And then now come the hit list. They're just going in and laying it down at the end of this fight. Ran is still alive, though, from the unnamed. Watcho! Looking to make some plays. Ran right up close to Purcell in the smokes. Trickster from behind. There goes the unnamed. Two more teams, Hot Jukes. Finally taking out them. So there goes the hit list against Salt. Can he be able to make the play behind the, the truck? I mean, he's trying to find some angles. Jump shot. That's a risky 1v1. Will he be able to get it? take him down? He does. Goes for the number two. Salt gets the two piece. The blue zone, though. He gets the kill. He at least secures that extra point. But at the end of the day, the hit list again. Beowulf still putting in work, though. Trying to hold it down for his team. Can he hit those? He sure does. Beowulf is a one-man wrecking crew. And he has got his eyes set on HQA. Can he get the finish? Pre-firing. Trying to catch something. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you can tell right there with that pre-fire, that jump shot, Bale is pissed off as Cross looking for that 1v1. Bale will be traded on, connected on HH24, looking to get in the mix, maybe even get a run right. over. She won! Oh, he switches seats! What? That was so gross. Welcome to the highlight reel. HH24. I, honestly, at this point, it's like Ghost Gaming. Uh, what do you do? Like, do you just stay here, stake your your ground, get the and car, just, get the car, get the car, go out trying to get some more kills? I, I mean, they're not gonna have an option. Rin swap into the backseat of the buggy, right there, taking down Ghost Gaming. You can see all the utility coming from the Panthers, and now Nova, yeah, Rin finally coming out. Oh. She fan, but she fan, so on point. I'm surprised he didn't throw that nade earlier in the middle of that third party. But now it's a 2v2. Who's going to catch who first, though? Rin's going to get spotted by Poppy. Oh, Rin going for that crazy rotation, playing it maybe just a little too aggressive. g no tossing out some smokes, going for the pickup, the possible no. pickup to reset. No Poppy, they need to be aggressive. Poppy, stand up, take those shots. Get this winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's a 2v1. No way she fan goes for this reset. No way. So risky. Yeah, now Peter Spotted. Poppy. Yeah, he got spotted on that rotation. And there goes the finish. She fat gonna get finished. So that is it. The Panthers taking home another chicken dinner. A thousand dollars to their names.